Shall we get my next guest out, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. I am delighted she's on the show. Before we do have her out here, let's uh, enjoy her performing the fabulous Falling. so much for coming on. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's lovely to see you. Now, Falling was a terrific song. It, uh, it did, I know, fabulously well for you. I appreciate it. I love Falling. It's my favorite so far. Uh, and that album, the first album, it sold a, a tremendous uh, volume. I think it was 8 million copies? Yeah, I think it was actually 10. 10 million? Thanks to you. Wow. And you. Well, I, I only bought one. Um, <laughs> and you won, is it five Grammy Awards for that last album? Yes, I did. Fabulous success. Thank you. You're, very rarely does this happen where an artist just appears, a, a performer appears, who you haven't really heard of before, and suddenly they do that fantastically well, and they have, you know, the level of talent you have. Thank you very much, definitely. I, I, I assume it does appear like suddenly I just popped up. Yeah. Like pop. The only, the only time I can remember that in the past was the first Whitney Houston album came in, and we'd never heard of this woman. We put this on, we said, my God, she's got the whole thing. She's a beautiful woman. She sings fantastically well. It just was, it was alarming, if anything. Yeah, she's wonderful. Tell us a bit about yourself be before we discovered you. What were you doing? What was your childhood like? When did you learn to play the piano? When did you first realize you could sing? When did you start doing your hair like that? Just fill in. <laughs> just give us a place to any idea those you want. I'm going to pop out for ten minutes. Okay, and I'll, and I'll see yeah. you when you come when back. When I come back, I want them to know anything about you. All right, good. Uh, no, but tell us, where do you, where, you're from New York originally, is that correct? Yes, I was born and raised in New York, and I still live in New York. Um, I don't see myself leaving, except maybe to come to London. Okay. You don't fancy living on the West Coast, or...? No, I like, I like where I live. Um, you know, it's what I know, it's the streets that I've walked. Uh, it's comfortable. And when you, when you were growing up, you lived in the area which uh, used to be known as Hell's Kitchen, I think. Correct. It isn't really called that anymore, it isn't? It's called Disneyland thing. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this is... This is up by 42nd Street, isn't it? Exactly. No, it was way different when I was growing up. But one of the, one of the, the, the most funny things that I remember is when I went to Germany, um, they had this paper, and I was on the cover of the paper. And I said, oh, wow, you know, because it was my first time in Germany. And the title was, Alicia Keys from Hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the Germans, they're, you know, they're scared well, of Americans. Um, <laughs> And so, and this was, it was a pretty rough area, because whenever I went to New York, and I would find myself gravitating towards 42nd Street, mainly right. for the Kung Fu movies they used to show. Are you sure? Are you lying? Well, you know it's really on 42nd Street. Yeah, the occasional she male, but I mean, you're mainly the, <laughs> mainly the Kung Fu movies. Um, and it, but it was a very exciting, very vibrant place. I guess probably not the nicest place to grow up, or maybe I'm wrong. You know what? It was definitely a, a medium of a lot of different types of people. It, it was uh, a lot of females, a lot of kung fu movies, yeah. strippers, yeah. Uh, pimps, prostitutes. But at the same time, it was incredible because it was theater and it was like music, yeah, of course. you know, and it was Broadway. So and there were so many things. And certainly vibrant, I would have thought, and challenging in, in a lot of ways. Very. Um, but you don't strike me as being a kind of uh, a tough person in that respect. You, I you don't. Know? I don't look yeah. tough to you. Well, no, not really. Oh. You look very attractive. Oh, thank you. Um, you're not scary tough, you know. <laughs> I mean, I had 50 Cent on a couple of weeks ago. Ah, And he turned out to be a charming sweet guy, but initially, you know, you think he looked a bit scary. No. He had that kind of walk, you know, I suppose it's, it's more of a hip-hop walk and stuff, which you're not doing, you're doing more of a ladylike thing. Did you try to do his walk? I tried a little bit of it, it didn't work for me. Did it suit you? I'm too elegant and graceful. I've noticed. My years at the bar <laughs> prevent me from walking in such a manner. Um, <laughs> Now, but your mum raised you single-handedly, more or less. Is that exactly. correct? You were in a single-parent family. Mm-hmm. That's uh, my saviour. That must have been pretty tough for her, I would have thought. Yeah, she's wonderful, though. You know, she's a very strong person. And I think she really made me absolutely the, the person that I am is because I was able to watch somebody who had strength and not somebody who would just, you know, submit to, you know, life is hard, and she didn't fall for it. So was it your mum? Because most kids don't really want to learn musical instruments, it seems. I mean, some do. Some, you know, genuinely seem to love it and, right. and realize they have a flair and aptitude early on. 
Were you one of those, or did your mom have to push you to study the piano? I definitely had a, um, I was drawn to it early. I think I was drawn to the way that it looked, you know, the way that it would shine, and, you know, it just looked intriguing to me, and I always wanted to play what I heard on the radio and that kind of thing. But um, I did need a little help, though, because come around 13, you start getting distracted. Yeah, by, by things, People hormones. Like you. Yeah, I imagine so. Attractive young men, or creepy old kung fu fans hanging like around you. in the cinema. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and so what age did you start learning? I started studying at um, seven. Well, okay, seven mm -hmm. years old. And when did, you, when, did, when did you know that you had something extra? Because you clearly have got something. You, you really can play, can't you? Thank you. Yes, uh, I hope so. Um, but, uh, no, absolutely. I, I felt that I, I really started feeling something coming together when I was about 12. And that was the first time that I kind of combined my knowledge of music with the way that I love to write songs and put them together. Prior to that, I hadn't quite done that. Yeah. And once I did that, I really saw that that's what I loved. I loved the way that felt. I'm learning the piano as well. I heard. I have a piece I'm working on. Maybe you could help me with it a bit later. Can you show it to me? Yeah, it's called Creepy Crawly. <laughs> it, it's tough because it's got some of those, the uh, black notes in as well as the white ones. Exactly. We'll have a go in a minute. Hey, let's have a look at your hands. They're not, you don't have particularly large hands. If anything, they seem quite small. No, I have is... to tell you, when I, when I first started playing people like Fat Swaller, um, it was very, very hard for me because get that week. he has like probably double my hands. And so his, his, an octave, he reaches an octave and a half. But it's one Can we hand. compare hands? Because my hands are, are probably an average size man's hand. Me. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I want to do that. Later on, I will be checking your breasts. <laughs> For contraband, you're a visitor in our country, you have to obey the rules. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. Okay, you know, if we were Vulcans, we'd be married now. Um, well, you see that? You really, it's, it's quite a petite hand you have yeah, there. Yeah, I, I, I have a really small hand, so I always have to jump around the piano a lot to reach. But, you, you know, you make do. do you, are they insured? Do you, do you, I mean, presumably you have to look after them because that's your, they're your, your tools. But. Yeah, these are, these are my tools. So, yes, I've insured them for a large amount. You cannot cut them off. How, how much are we talking roughly? We're talking at least, you know, a hundred million thousand trillion. Dollars. We're making figures up now, are exactly. Okay. <laughs> Um, you've got a new album out, which yes, and it's I been do. quite a while coming, hasn't it? It has a little bit. I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to be able to tour for such a long time that I didn't get home. I toured for about two years straight. And when I got home, I took about one month off, mm -hmm. and I was with my family, and I did the whole Christmas thing and that kind of thing. And I went straight into recording my second album. So I took my time because I don't feel the need to rush because I don't plan on going anywhere. Let's move over to the piano. You're going to perform. Your, this isn't the new single. This, is this a... isn't the single. I want to do something a little more special for you. Okay, that's really lovely. Because we... I like you. Well, do you really? I do. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm lying. Are you flirting with me? Yes. <laughs> you know I'm a married man. I'm sorry. But I have one get out of jail card left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, the single is called You Don't Know My Name. That's not what you're going to perform. Right. Um, this song I'm performing for you is off of the album. It's one of my favorite, favorite songs. It's called If I Ain't Got You. And I just wanted to do it very personally between us like well, that. And, and before you do that, w would you help me out with Creepy Crawly? Yeah, let me I see. Have... What's going on? Yeah. I don't that... have to be tough with you. Well, me. no, don't be tough with me. But look, this is... Come on over me. Look, this is my... My, this is genuinely, this is my grade one examination, don't it's December the 2nd, and I'll tell you what I'm scared really? of, I know I'm going to turn up, I'm 43, I know what you're thinking, I don't look it, you don't. but I'm going to turn up, <laughs> and there's going to be like six year olds then, seven year olds with little briefcases, and they're going to be confident, Aww, and I'm going to okay. be less Go confident. Go ahead, let me make you comfortable, first you sit down, okay. show me how you sit. Alright, well this is, uh, <coughs> it's called <coughs> Creepy Crawly. Okay. I'll put it there. You know, and my daughter's learning at the same time, and she's written on there, E-flat idiot, which just doesn't help me out at all. <laughs> She did write E flat. Now, well, here we go. Now, you okay. tell me what I'm doing wrong. Watch my fingers. All right. Wait! What's wrong with that? <laughs> All right. You're Am okay. I in the wrong place? Go for it. That's a C, middle C. Yes, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very this good. is uh, G down there. All right. Because you play something. Now, oh, you're making me a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really stunned not looking forward to this exam. Oh, uh, what's that bit? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, have you been practicing? Well, yeah, but you're making me. So, I can't begin to tell you how nervous you're making me. I mean, when is this test? Well, it's in December the second. But I, you, do, you do it first, and then I'll, because then I'll, I'll, I'll remember it. But yeah, I'm just. Well, first of all, there's no sharps or flats. You see? There is one there. Okay, I see what you're Well, there you go. Ha! Ah, yeah, you thought you knew. Well, he knows that. Was... <laughs> That's it. And then the other one. But what happens is when, when you're going to have to do it. Well, I can try it now. All right, I check, just need check. to be reminding of the tune. Okay. What are you doing oh. on December the 2nd? Well, 
I think I'll be in New York. Okay, enough, enough. Oh, you know what's so annoying? All right, so all right. well earlier. Well, I really did. Give him you know what hurts? You try. You know what really hurts, Alicia? I know they're patronising me. <laughs> well, we don't want to hear that anyway. Uh, the, the track you're going to perform for us again is called. It's called uh, If I Ain't Got You. Thank you so much, Alicia Keys. <laughs>